Hello, Zinny friends. I am tired. And Marshall. I am Lainey. <laughs> She's also kind of tired. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> um, this is the second of our, not second, second of our October videos where we talk about the products that we have uh, for the month. We have already had part one, which is all of our new products. And now we're going into these are all the products that we're bringing back for October so that uh, you can purchase them because they're all fall and Halloween scented, mm -hmm. collected themed ish. Yes. Yeah. Basically, because we've been doing all these switches over to the cosp labels, we've had to bring them out slowly, but some of them a little less slowly than others. Uh, we got all of the this theme out at the same time. So um, that's why I'm tired. Yes. <laughs> yes, but we are starting to get to the end of the uh, ones that we had to redo, so that is a good thing. Well, kind of. Um, huh. if, if we look really closely on my list, other than the Christmas ones, I still have another 50. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, let's talk about uh, the new scents. So I guess the first one we're going to start with is one that is people think is very weird, but it I actually weird. really like, and it is called... Gary's Vision. Gary's Vision. It is inspired by the Adams Family Values. Uh, most importantly, the scene when they go to summer camp and they're doing the uh, Pilgrim Thanksgiving play. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that Wednesday hijacks to turn into a morality story about how white people actually treated the Indians. Well, yes. Sorry, First Nations. And then because the Adamses are a little weird, uh, we decided to have the set be Mandarin Oranges, Mugret Lily, and Dill Pickle, and people were like, Pickle? What? Really? Um, let me tell you guys, you, you need to try it. It, it is... It is not what you expect at all. Not at all. There is pickle, but you don't smell it as much. It actually makes the flowers not as flowery. It's mm -hmm. almost like, I don't know, it's like an acidic orange. <laughs> you get, you get the uh, floral as a part of kind of like, a, so you get first orange, mm -hmm. but then you get that sour floral mm -hmm. and the pickle comes in a little bit in there uh, you recognize that there's a pickle there yes um and it is very that is very adam's family it works like you look at them and their relationship they actually have a pretty like nurturing home in a very strange strange way it works yes it does now let's talk about the art so here we have jelly as Wednesday, and she's holding a lit match. Um, and then you have Orlando, and he's the turkey. Pugly. Uh, he is the pugly. pugly. Or <laughs> Eat me! Yes. <laughs> he, he's that turkey. Uh, and, like, at first we had just done jelly, because, you know, that, uh, that, that was the centerpiece of the original. Yeah. But then we're like, it just feels a little weird. We need to have some more in there. Yeah. So we added Orlando. And that actually did not take as long as I thought it would. No. No. But yeah, so that, that's the art for this. You can get this in spray, scrub, and in the roll-on this month only. No wax for that, but you can get these. Of course, this is a really great scent for October and November, so make sure you pick that one up. Even if you are a little, like, concerned about the dill pickle. Don't be concerned. I won't steer you it wrong. Works. I promise. Trust us, it works. Our next scent is Gatekeeper Key Masker, and this is, of course, inspired by the Ghostbusters, both the old uh, version and the female version. Uh, the scent notes are 50-50 bar, strawberry, and ginger, and it, it smells kind of like a, an orange cream strawberry with a little... This. This is the connection that we missed a long time ago. Yeah. There is actually a connection here. It is. Because way back when... When they were trying to get as much money as they could out of the Ghostbusters, they made the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Mm -hmm. And to tie in with that, um, High C made Ecto Cooler, which was really just a rebranding of Citrus Cooler. Orange. We didn't know it, but we were actually building it right into what we needed it to be. <laughs> That's awesome. And it smells so good. It smell it's one of my fave smells. Um, but you can get this in the spray scrub and in the rollerball. Let's talk about the wax. 
Yes. So um, as far as the artwork goes, you have Zane and Ravenna. Zane is going as Egon from the original movies, and you have Ravenna as Holtzman. Um, so she's getting to be her full-on nerdy self, um, rocking those glasses. Um, we don't get to see her um, two little pistols in there, um, but we get to see their new outfits, and I like that outfit. Like, the way that they they actually feel industrial. Like, the new ones have all of those little warning uh, reflective tapes on there, and I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a real great one if you like that kind of fruity uh, smell in your yeah. fall time. It's definitely... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The next set is A Man with the Hands, which is based on Edward Scissorhands. Uh, it is marshmallow, chocolate, and peppermint. Now, the, we kind of redid the art once already, and I, I know you guys saw that in a previous video. Mm -hmm. uh, but the reason why we're bringing it, we're doing it again is because at that point, we did not have a Halloween background mm -hmm. label. And so we just kind of switched that around because we consider this to be a Halloween movie. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that... that the marshmallow, chocolate, and peppermint together kind of... It's like a peanut... It's not a peanut butter cup. No. It is like a York peppermint patty with a little bit of marshmallow in there. It is mm -hmm. so good. Um, it is in a spray, also in a scrub and a roll-on. Um, if you think about this month's scent, um, In For A Penny is very close to this. But In For A Penny has more bakery and this does not. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of the difference between the two of those. Our next scent is Certain Rules, which is based on Scream. Uh, it is butter, popcorn, peppermint, and chocolate. More peppermint and chocolate, but you know what? It goes with the whole Halloween candy thing. We like peppermint and chocolate. Cinnamental. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one is very also very similar to Man with the Hands. Man with the Hands is more marshmallow than this one is. So and This one's more buttered popcorn. More buttered popcorn, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because this is kind of reminiscent of people just sitting around watching a scary movie mm -hmm. and eating all the garbage food. Mm -hmm. um, and to go with that, from Scream, we have Orlando as um, Ghostface, the Ghostface killer, and he's got the knife in one hand. He's taken off the mask because if he still had the mask on, how would we know it's Orlando? Exactly. You can get this in the spray, the scrub, and the roll on this month only. We next have Murder and Beauty. So that's our Hocus Pocus scent. It is juniper berry, eucalyptus, and hay. So it's a little different. Mm -hmm. This, but, this but good. almost goes into our, into a floral kind of category, mm -hmm. but it doesn't give us headaches. And there's not floral, I wouldn't say it's really floral. Yeah, it's- Yeah, it's not exactly a floral there's a scent. There's berry, there's kind of almost like a, rusticky yeah. not really it is hay but it's not doesn't really smell like you would think hay would smell like it's the f part of hay where it's not dried out husks in the gold stack it's more of as it's growing mm -hmm. yes exactly so. exactly and so for the artwork we have roxy as one of the sanderson sisters um i, I can't actually remember all of their names but um <laughs> Sorry, they're just the Sanderson sisters. They're just one unit for me. Um, and she's got her vacuum, but then on, on, sitting there on the vacuum is Binks the cat. They had to have Binks in there because in the to. original artwork, uh, Binks is on the tombstone and he is reaching out for uh, what is a guy that's coming out of the tomb? Yeah, the, that guy. That guy. Um, but and, and because it was kind of a really cool opportunity for us because we met Jason Marsden who um, is the voice of Binks the Cat in the original Hocus Pocus, he actually saw Marshall working on it and was like, that's really cool. So yeah. we, we kind of had to put Binks in there in redoing of the label, yeah. for sure. So you can get this in the spray, the scrub, and the roll-on. Next, we have Them Is My Jewels. We talked about this a little bit in our first October video because it is available in the wax, but it is also part of the Halloween collection as well. This is based on Labyrinth, and it is woods, acorns, and peaches, so it's very much like walking through a peach orchard. We already talked about this, so if you want to 
go over there. You can learn more about the set, but we're going to talk about the art right now. So this is Orlando. Um, Orlando is dressed up as Hovel, uh, who is kind of the pseudo guide um, for our main character in Labyrinth, but um, he, he was kind of unwilling for a while. Uh, she was holding his jewels as ransom, and you can see in the artwork he's holding the little sack of jewels. And you can get this in spray, scrub, roll on, and wax this month. Mm. Next, we're going to talk about a couple <gasps> other scents that are. Sorry, our ice machine is making us right now. Our ice machine is haunted. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about a couple scents that are not discounted this month, but they are part of the new artwork that we are bringing out. Uh, so the first one is Howl. Howl is not a new scent at all. It is a new uh, redesign. Howl used to be part of our Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection, but we decided to take away two of the scents because they weren't selling and our library is getting enormous, and we decided to reallocate it to Orlando's signature scent, which is, uh, this is Muscadine, Bergamot, and Tarragon. This is actually one of my other very favorite ones, so we didn't want to get rid of it, but we did want to kind of put it somewhere else where it might be getting a little bit more love. So that is why we decided to put it on this one. Let me tell you, the muscadine is so good in this. And one thing that you might have forgotten from the original time we had it out mm -hmm. is that Howell does this oddball thing where it shifts in scent. It mm -hmm. shifts from the muscadine to the bergamot and tarragon. And mm -hmm. then it comes back again and it just kind of passes back and forth. It's so weird, but so, it works so yeah, nicely. It yeah. So it's kind of indicative of a second life. That's which, true. You know, who knows? Maybe Orlando has a second life. Maybe. You can get this scent in scrub, spray, and in the roll-on this month. Do you want to talk a little bit about his outfit? So he's got kind of a variant of Zane's outfit. It is a red version, but if you take a different if you look at the two of them next to each other, there's actually more armor pieces mm. that you see on Orlando's. Um, and I think that's more because, like, he's the older gentleman of the two. He, like, in magical battles between monsters and magical people, he, he's much more of the tank, where um, Zane is a little bit more of a stabity stabity, just kind of run up and stab you and run. <laughs> so... Uh, next, we have Great Scott, which is our Back to the Future scent. Um, this is just the new label. We uh, have the scent in Mr. Pepper and in Fresh Grass, so it's very much like being outside in, in the, the 50s, 50s yeah. and drinking your Dr. Pepper. And it does a fun thing there. It kind of, it, it has a great use. I use it mm -hmm. in my restroom mm -hmm. because the, the grass scent actually takes all the bathroom scents and it kind of uh, takes it and mutes it away. It kind of eats it up. But then, like, you would normally just be left with this fresh cut grass scent, and that's not necessarily good. Mr. Pepper scent of it kind of mutes that one out. So it just becomes more pleasant. It's good for poopery. Yeah, poopery. Poopery. Yes. So talk about this art on this one. So we have, uh, we have Hershey, and he is dressed up as Marty McFly in the outfit that he's wearing in the first movie, but... He's also got the hat from the second movie, that holographic, color-shifting hat. Mm -hmm. In the background, though, we have Waldo, and he's wearing a, a lab coat, and he's trying to um, connect these two cables together, and he's getting himself electrocuted. You can see all the lightning going between his ears and all that. It's kind of fun. <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts. <sighs> Our last one for the labels is Peach of Cake. So if you saw in our first video, we did Princess Daisy uh, as part of our Cancer Awareness scent. Peach of Cake is the... Uh... Princess Peach. Exactly. So this is a uh, Peach of Cake was actually created by Zelma. She uh, chose peaches, cinnamon, bakery... And... Cinnamon and, and bakery. And bakery dough. I cannot talk. So this is this is inspired by the fact that like in a lot of the Mario games, uh, as a reward for rescuing her, um, she offers Mario a cake. Because princesses bake cakes, I guess. Of course they do. Um, they don't so, have staff anymore that bakes their cake. It's all about them baking their cake. Yeah, she's not very efficient with her staff. We can see that in some of the other games. Anyway... <laughs> Um, <laughs> the reason that we decided to actually do the artwork for this one is while I was doing the Princess Daisy artwork, 
the dress that the two girls wear um, are very similar. There's just subtle differences. So mm -hmm. I'm like, well, why don't I just make those subtle differences and go ahead and make the peach of cake that I'm going to have to make eventually anyway? Um, and then I'm like, but I, it feels like I'm kind of cheating a little bit. So that's why you also see Princess Daisy has her outfit um, with a variant of her tennis outfit. And this is Princess Peach in her driving outfit from Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. So you've got them in both their pretty, pretty princess dresses and their sporty wear. Uh, yeah. So that is the rest of the October artwork. Uh, for November, you are going to see uh, pretty much all of our Christmas stuff, like all of it. We have a ton of new Christmas scents coming out and all of the previous years, which if you remember correctly, there were a lot the first year. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I'm just glad that we, uh, we decided to take a lot of our signature scents and make them our characters mm -hmm. um, rather than having to redo every single one of them because yeah, that first year was 12 cents total. Remember that, doing that? Remember that 12, 12 zany holidays box mm -hmm. that we had with the little waxes? Do you remember that? Yep. Mm, then we did that. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and make sure you are subscribed down below so you don't miss any of our other... Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. So you still ring the bell. You still ring that bell. You still ring that bell. I don't know. YouTube. Otherwise, videos otherwise you don't you don't get notified. Right. No notified. 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 Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye bye. Ah!